Hi, in this podcast, we're going to go over the different types of functional groups that you are going to see for the organic chemistry portion of our intro to organic and biochemistry. And I'm going to show you also how to recognize those groups and generally speaking, what those look like. All right, so what is a functional group? Functional groups are atoms or groups of atoms that have characteristic chemical and physical properties. So um, functional groups are going to determine the solubility, the melting point, the boiling point, also how those particular molecules and compounds are going to behave in reactions. So they're also important in determining a molecule shape or its geometry, as we said before already, the properties of reactivity. Um, a lot of times your functional groups um, are going to contain what's called a heteroatom, which is a term that you're going to hear more of. And a heteroatom is anything that is not carbon or hydrogen, and it can also have uh, double bond or triple bonds or single bonds. We do like to abbreviate carbon backbones with an R. Um, this is going to help us to really focus on what the functional group is, and we won't get lost in all the carbons and hydrogens. Um, so, for example, if we had a structure, and we will talk more in depth about this, let's see here, that has an aldehyde in it, we would actually abbreviate this section of the carbon chain so that we can focus on that functional group. So we would say this could be a carbon chain of any length represented by R, and then we would focus in on our aldehyde or our functional group. So there are three general classes of functional groups. The first is the hydrocarbon groups. So all of the functional groups that fall into the hydrocarbon groups, as you imagine, only hence hydrogen and carbon in them, hence hydrocarbons. The second classification group would be compounds that have a single bond to a heteroatom. So um, a heteroatom, again, is anything that's not carbon and hydrogen. So we are talking about any halides. And we'll look at these more in depth, too. Halides are going to be something with a halogen, like fluorine or bromine, or maybe they have a hydroxyl, like an OH group. We will get into more of this in just a couple of slides. Um, so don't worry about that. So it's a single bond to any of those other heteroatoms. The third classification is a compound that contains a carbonyl. And this can look um, different. But a carbonyl, as we will come to learn soon, is a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. So um, there's a whole class of functional groups that have the presence of this carbonyl that have a C double bonded to O. So those are the three general classifications for functional groups.